Racklink tracks three critical environmental variables, each of which ensures that the system is operating within known safe limits and proactively addresses site stability issues with the customer, minimizing downtime and ensuring equipment longevity. Let's take a look at the variables and how they are set. For each tracked variable, the integrator can set their own value that is determined by both site conditions and equipment that's been connected to the device. The alert thresholds page displays the current environmental readings for that site at the point the thresholds are configured, giving the integrator insight into what's going on at the time. To set a threshold, you simply type the new value in the field provided and click apply. That new threshold becomes then the standard. If Rackling detects an over temperature condition, it has an additional trick up its sleeve. The integrator can optionally choose to have Rackling automatically shut down connected equipment or power up additional cooling devices to protect the system from damage. In addition, Racklink will send out a notification email to the integrator to alert him of the overtemp condition. To enable this automatic response, you simply choose the appropriate outlet or dry contact that you wish to control, and you select the appropriate action, in this case, power on. You click apply, and Racklink is now automatically protecting your equipment from over temperature. Racklink allows up to five email recipients to be notified for not only auto ping failure and auto ping recovery, but also for any breach of over or under voltage, over or under current, or over and under temperature thresholds that the integrator has set. To add an alert recipient, you simply enter the email address in the appropriate field, and using the checkboxes provided, select the appropriate alert that you wish to receive. Having entered the recipient, you configure the mail server with the appropriate name, port, and username and password as necessary, together with the sender's email address, and you click apply. To test the mail server configuration is correct, you simply click the send test button. If the mail server configuration is correct, Racklink will display message sent successfully.